The University of Manitoba U of M or UM is a public research university in Manitoba, Canada. Its main campus is located in the Fort Garry neighborhood of southern Winnipeg with other campuses throughout the city. Founded in 1877, it is Western Canada's first university. The university maintains a reputation as a top research-intensive post-secondary educational institution and conducts more research annually than any other university in the region. It is the largest university both by total student enrollment and campus area in the province of Manitoba, and the 17th largest in all of Canada. The campus boasts dozens of faculties including the first medical school in Western Canada, and hundreds of degree programs. It is a member of the U15 and of Universities Canada while its global affiliations include the International Association of Universities and the Association of Commonwealth Universities. Its increased global outreach has resulted in one of the most internationally diverse student bodies in Canada, while its competitive academic and research programs have consistently ranked among the top in the Canadian prairies. The Manitoba Bisons represent the team in athletics as a member of U Sports and Canada West CWUAA. As of 2018, there have been 98 Rhodes Scholars from the University of Manitoba, more than from any other university in Western Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Location The University of Manitoba has three main locations, the Bannatyne Campus, the Fort Garry Campus and the William Norrie Centre. The downtown Bannatyne Campus of the University comprises a complex of ten buildings west of the Health Sciences Centre between McDermott Avenue and William Avenue in central Winnipeg. This complex houses the Rady Faculty of Health Sciences, including the Dr. Gerald Nisnik College of Dentistry, the Max Rady College of Medicine, the College of Rehabilitation Sciences, and the School of Dental Hygiene. The College of Pharmacy moved from Fort Garry to the Bannatyne campus on October 16, 2008 with the opening of the 95,000 square feet 8,800 square meters Apotex Center. The Brody Center is known as the flagship, which connects all three faculties as well as the Neil John McLean Health Sciences Library and the Joe Duke Fitness Center. It is at 727 McDermott Avenue. The remaining unit of the Rady Faculty of Health Sciences, the College of Nursing, will remain on the Fort Garry campus until additional facilities can be built at Bannatyne. The main Fort Garry campus on the Red River in South Winnipeg comprises over 60 teaching and research buildings of the university and sits on 274 hectares 680 acres of land. In addition, Smart Park is the location of seven buildings leased to research and development organizations involving university industry partnerships. The address is 66 Chancellor's Circle. The William Norrie Center on Selkirk Avenue is the campus for social work education for inner-city residents. The university operates agricultural research stations near Glenlee and Carmen, Manitoba. The Ian N. Morrison Research Farm near Carmen is a 406 acres 164 hectares facility 70 kilometers 43 miles from Winnipeg, while the Glenlee facility is approximately 1,000 acres 405 hectares and is 20 kilometers 12 miles from Winnipeg. Topic: <laughs> Indigenous Community. The University of Manitoba provides services to urban and rural indigenous people. The University of Manitoba's Department of Native Studies is the oldest such unit in Western Canada. Many of the indigenous access programs include summer courses that bring new indigenous students to campus before the start of the school year for campus orientation sessions. 
Indigenous elders are present on campus at University of Manitoba to provide social supports in Migazi Agamic Bald Eagle Lounge, the Indigenous Centre on campus. Tutoring services are available within the University of Manitoba's Medicine, Engineering, Engineering Access Program and Social Work Access Programs. The university connects with First Nations communities to talk to potential students at a much younger age through Curry Biz Camp, which fosters entrepreneurship among young First Nations and Métis students. On June 2, 2017, Indigenous Knowledge and Guidance became a formally recognized part of the Rady Faculty of Health Sciences with the creation of Ongomizwin, the largest Indigenous education and health unit in Canada in terms of scope and mandate. History Early history The University of Manitoba is a nondenominational university, founded by Alexander Morris, that received a charter on February 28, 1877. It officially opened on June 20, 1877 to confer degrees on students graduating from its three founding colleges, St. Boniface College Roman Catholic, Francophone, St. John's College Anglican, and Manitoba College Presbyterian. The University of Manitoba granted its first degrees in 1880. The university was the first to be established in Western Canada. The university has added a number of colleges to its corporate and associative body. In 1882 the Manitoba Medical College, which had been founded by some physicians and surgeons, became a part of the university. Architect Charles Henry Wheeler designed the Bacteriological Research Building 1897, part of the Manitoba Medical College. Architect George Creeford Brown designed the Science Building, 1899 to 1900. Other colleges followed: Methodist Church's Wesley College in 1888, Manitoba College of Pharmacy in 1902, Manitoba Agriculture College in 1906, St. Paul's College in 1931. Brandon College in 1938 St. Andrews College in 1946 In 1901 the Legislative Assembly of Manitoba changed the University Act so the university could do its own teaching, and in 1905 a building in downtown Winnipeg became its first teaching facility with a staff of six science professors. The governance was modeled on the Provincial University of Toronto Act of 1906 which established a bicameral system of university government consisting of a Senate faculty, responsible for academic policy, and a Board of Governors citizens exercising exclusive control over financial policy and having formal authority in all other matters. The president, appointed by the board, was to provide a link between the two bodies and to perform institutional leadership. In the early part of the 20th century, professional education expanded beyond the traditional fields of theology, law, and medicine. Graduate training based on the German-inspired American model of specialized course work and the completion of a research thesis was introduced. The Manitoba Medical Alumni Association erected the Medical Corps Memorial, which is dedicated to the memory of the graduates and students of the University of Manitoba Medical College, who laid down their lives during the Northwest Rebellion, one name, 1900 South African War, one name, and 1914 to 1918 The Great War seven names. The first school of architecture in Western Canada was founded in 1919 at the University of Manitoba. By 1920, the university was the largest university in the Canadian prairies and the fifth largest in Canada. It had eight faculties, arts, science, law, medicine, engineering, architecture, pharmacy, and agriculture. 
It had 1,654 male students and 359 female students, and 184 academic staff, including six women. The Faculty of Law was an affiliated college, the Manitoba Law School, which was founded by the University and the Law Society of Manitoba in 1914. In 1920 it had 123 students, including five women, and 21 academic staff. It became a full part of the university in 1966. The university was originally on Broadway. In 1929, following the addition of more programs, schools, and faculties, the university moved to its permanent site in Fort Garry, Manitoba. The university maintained the Broadway facilities for many years. The university established an evening institute in 1936. St. Andrew's College, which originally trained the Ministry for the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of Canada, became an affiliated college in 1981. St. Andrew's College was the first Ukrainian language college opened by the Orthodox Church in North America. It is home to a large Ukrainian cultural and religious library. The policy of university education initiated in the 1960s responded to population pressure. In 1967, two of the colleges that had been part of the University of Manitoba were given university status by the provincial government. United College, which had been formed by the merging of Wesley College and Manitoba College, became the University of Winnipeg, and Brandon College became Brandon University. St. Boniface College and St. John's College, two of the founding colleges of the university, are still part of the University of Manitoba. St. Boniface College is the university's only French-language college, it offers instruction in French and facilities for the training of teachers who expect to teach in the French language. St. John's College, which dates back to 1820, offers instruction in arts and science and, among other special programs, prepares men and women for the ordained ministry of the Anglican Church. Present Thirty-three of the buildings on the Fort Garry campus of the University of Manitoba are used for teaching. Four of these are colleges, St. John's College, St. Paul's College, St. Andrew's College, and University College. The remaining buildings contain laboratories, administrative and service offices, residences, or are the property of research agencies. The university has approximately 27,000 students 24,000 undergraduate and 3,000 graduate. It offers more than 90 degrees, and more than 60 at the undergraduate level. Most academic units offer graduate studies programs leading to master's or doctoral degrees. In 2007-08, the university acquired more than $150 million in research income. The university holds 48 Canada research chairs and is home to or a partner in 37 research centres, institutes and shared facilities. These centers foster collaborative research and scholarship. The University of Manitoba is the network leader of ISIS Canada Intelligent Sensing for Innovative Structures, headquartered in the Faculty of Engineering. ISIS Canada is a national network of centers of excellence NCE, developing better ways to build, repair and monitor civil structures. The university is a member of 13 other NCEs. The Center for Defense and Security Studies at the University of Manitoba has a research, teaching and outreach program designed to advance knowledge, understanding and debate in Canada on defense and security issues. Legacy On 28 February 2002, Canada Post issued University of Manitoba, 1877-2002 as part of the Canadian Universities series. 
The stamp was based on a design by Stephen Slip, based on photographs by Mike Grandmaison and on an illustration by Bonnie Ross. The 48 stamps are perforated 13.5 and were printed by Ashton Potter Canada Limited. Topic Campus In 2013, the University of Manitoba sponsored an urban planning design competition to plan an extension to the Fort Garry campus. The goal is to improve the general campus experience and guide future growth of parking citation revenue by establishing an urban framework for housing, university buildings and the associated public transportation in the area. The winning design submission was from Janet Rosenberg and Studio Inc. Toronto and Sibinel Architects Ltd. Winnipeg with Landmark Planning and Design Inc. Winnipeg and Arup Canada Inc. Toronto. Topic Academics The university has a total enrollment of approximately 26,000 students in 24 faculties. Most academic units offer graduate studies programs leading to master's or doctoral degrees. The University of Manitoba ranked 14th in Maclean's Medical, Doctoral University category, tied with the University of Saskatchewan. The Medical, Doctoral category ranks Canadian universities that are research intensive. There are five colleges under the University of Manitoba banner. They are the Université de Saint Boniface, University of Saint Boniface, Saint John's College, Saint Paul's College, Saint Andrew's College, and University College. Within these colleges are multiple faculties. The University of Saint Boniface teaches their courses in French. The university's faculties include the following programs, Agricultural and Food Sciences Clayton H. Riddell Faculty of Environment, Earth, and Resources College of Nursing College of Pharmacy College of Rehabilitation Sciences Dr. Gerald Nisnik College of Dentistry Division of Extended Education Faculty of Architecture Faculty of Education Faculty of Engineering Faculty of Graduate Studies Faculty of Kinesiology and Recreation Management Management Faculty of Science Faculty of Social Work Faculty of Human Ecology IH Asper School of Business Marcel A. Desotel's Faculty of Music Max Rady College of Medicine Rady Faculty of Health Sciences Robson Hall, Faculty of Law School of Agriculture School of Art School of Dental Hygiene University One. Topic museums, libraries and archives The Anthropology Laboratory Museum at UOFM collects, inventories and displays artifacts including cartographic materials, prints, drawings, and textual records from the Manitoba region. The Human History Collection includes archaeological and ceremonial objects, and weapons. The natural sciences artifacts include biological, zooarchaeological, aquatic, earth science, geological and paleontological collections. The University of Manitoba Libraries includes, Albert D. Cohen Management Library Architecture, Fine Arts Library Archives and Special Collections, includes the rare book room Donald W. Craig Engineering Library Eckhart Gramate Music Library E. K. Williams Law Library Eckhart Gramate Music Library Elizabeth Defoe Library Faculty of Medicine Archives, includes the Ross Mitchell Rare Book Room Father Harold Drake Library Street. Paul's College Neil John McLean Health Sciences Library Sciences and Technology Library St. John's College Library William R. Newman Library WRHA Virtual Library Art galleries The main art gallery on campus is School of Art Gallery Topic Other Art Galleries Arch 2 Faculty of Architecture Dr Paul H T Thorlikson Gallery Icelandic Collection Elizabeth Defoe Library 
Gallery of Student Art Gosa, University Center Topic Human Resources The academic staff are represented by two unions The professors are represented by the University of Manitoba Faculty Association while sessional instructors and teaching assistants are represented by the CUP Local 3909 Professors at the Faculty of Dentistry are represented by the University of Manitoba Dental Clinical Staff Association. The support staff are divided among many unions. The support staff and the campus security are represented by the AESES, though the support staff at the Faculty of the Engineering are represented by CUPE Local 1482. All of the outside workers are represented by the CA Local 3007. Topic. University administration Topic. University presidents James Alexander McLean Sidney Earl Smith Henry Percy Arms, acting 1944-1945. Albert William Truman, 1945-1948. Albert Henry S. Gilson, 1948-1954. Hugh Hamilton Saunderson, 1954-1970. Ernest Serlick, 1970-1976. Ralph Campbell, 1976 to 1981. Arnold Nymark, 1981 to 1996. Amoke J. E. Zathmary, 1996 to 2008. David Barnard, 2008 present. Topic: University Chancellors. S. P. Matheson, 1908 to 1934. John W. Defoe, 1934 to 1944. Andrew Knox Dissert, 1944 to 1952. Victor Sifton, 1952 to 1959. Justice S. Friedman, 1959 to 1968. Peter D. Curry, 1968–1974. Richard S. Bowles, 1974–1977. Isabel G. Auld, 1977–1986. Henry E. Duckworth, 1986–1992. Arthur Morrow, 1992–2001. Bill Norrie, 2001 to 2010. Harvey Sector, 2010 to 2019. Anne Mayen, 2019 present. Topic: Notable past and present instructors. Reg Alcock, former president of the Treasury Board of Liberal Prime Minister Paul Martin's cabinet. Robert Archambault Ceramic Artist, Governor General's Award winner Arthur Henry Reginald Buller FRSC, FRS, Mycologist Patricia Churchland and Paul Churchland, former professors of philosophy, known for the School of Eliminative Materialism Jean Friesen, former Deputy Premier and Minister of Intergovernment Affairs of New Democratic Premier Gary Dewar's Cabinet Anaruda M. Goal, IEEE Fellow Frank Hawthorne FRSC, Mineral Sciences Professor Larry Hurtado, Professor of Early Christianity and New Testament Languages 1975-1996, Founding Director of the Institute of the Humanities 1990-1992 Guy Madden, Film Director and Former Professor 
Nathan Mendelssohn, Professor of Mathematics Zalman Shakhtar Shalomi, major founder of the Jewish Renewal Movement Arthur Schaefer, director of the Center for Professional and Applied Ethics and prominent ethicist Carol Shields, Pulitzer Prize-winning author Václav Smil, energy systems scientist and policy analyst Peter St. John, 9th Earl of Orkney, formerly Professor of Political Studies, now a Senior Scholar Fernando de Toro, Professor and Dean H. C. Wolfart, Professor of Linguistics Notable alumni Topic: Rhodes Scholars. As of 2010, there have been 96 Rhodes Scholars from the University of Manitoba, more than from any other university in Western Canada. Topic: Relations. Robert Croche, poet and novelist. Topic: Athletics. The university is represented in U sports by the Manitoba Bisons. Athletic facilities on campus include the Max Bell Center, the Investors Group Athletic Center, and Investors Group Field, which opened in 2013 to replace University Stadium. Topic. Recreation The University of Manitoba offers recreational programs year-round, including a swimming program, adult classes and summer programs for children. The university's Frank Kennedy Center, Max Bell Center, and Investors Group Athletic Center contain indoor tracks, a swimming pool, workout facilities, and an international ice hockey rink, as well as basketball, volleyball, squash and racquetball courts. Frank Kennedy Center also hosts dance, combat and gymnastics rooms, and indoor tennis courts. Topic. Student life Topic. Student representation The students at the university are members of the University of Manitoba Students' Union UMSU. UMSU represents students at the Board of Governors and Senate, as well as providing programs and support to students. The University of Manitoba Graduate Students Association UMGSA also represents over 3,000 graduate students at the University of Manitoba. The UMGSA is guided by its vision, goals and governing documents, all of which focus on promoting and providing graduate student advocacy, offering services and support to students, as well as developing and encouraging involvement in the graduate student community. Topic. Greek organizations The National Panhellenic Conference sororities on campus are Alpha Delta Pi, Alpha Gamma Delta, and Alpha Phi. Fraternities on campus include Delta Upsilon, Delta Kappa Epsilon, and Phi Delta Theta. Fraternity rush and sorority recruitment occur during the first weeks of school in September. Topic. Music. Students can participate in the University of Manitoba Orchestra. Topic. See also Asper School of Business University of Manitoba Students' Union Faculty of Medicine, University of Manitoba Robert B.
Ferguson Museum of Mineralogy Edleith Cretaceous Menagerie List of agricultural universities and colleges List of universities in Manitoba Higher education in Manitoba Education in Canada <laughs> <laughs>